2024 Hyundai Kona. Six years after joining the Hyundai SUV lineup for 2018, the Kona enters its second generation. This time around, it was designed as an F first, with the platform adapted to accommodate gas and hybrid powertrains. A hybrid option is new for 2024. The redesigned Hyundai subcompact SUV is slated to compete against other small crossovers including the Subaru Crosstrek and Toyota Corolla Cross, as well as inexpensive EVs like the Chevrolet Bolt UV and Kia Niro. The new Kona will be offered with at least three powertrain options. A second-generation Kona Electric served as the basis for the whole Kona range, but there are also options for those not ready to commit to an EV. Hyundai has confirmed there will be conventional gas and hybrid variants. If the previous Gen SUV is any indication, the gas Kona will likely offer a base 2.0-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder and a 1.6-liter turbo four-cylinder which was standard with its predecessors inline and limited trims. Expect a CVT with a base engine and a dual-clutch automatic with a turbo option, the Kona should return combined city and highway driving fuel economy numbers in the low 30 mile per gallon range. The first-generation Kona Hybrid, which was only sold in Europe, was powered by a naturally aspirated 1.6-liter four-cylinder working in concert with a small electric motor. We anticipate this will carry over, though it's possible Hyundai could replace the previous gen's upgrade engine and hybrid option with the more powerful hybrid system we've seen at work in the Hyundai Tucson. Based on what we've seen in the recently redesigned Kia Niro, it could achieve efficiency numbers north of 50 miles per gallon combined. The second-generation Kona will surely offer a host of driver assist features. We anticipate basics like automatic emergency braking and lane keep assist will be standard, while Hyundai slash Kia's impressive highway drive assist adaptive cruise control and lane centering will require option packages or higher trim levels. Other features such as blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, rear occupant alert, and driver attention warning will certainly be available, whether they're optional or standard. The cabin of the updated Kona will be familiar to anyone who has spent time in the Hyundai Ioniq 5. Like that of, the Kona interior features two 12.3-inch displays, a center touchscreen and a digital instrument panel, that are now canted toward the driver. Hyundai has also cleared out the space where the center tunnel used to be and repositioned the shifter to the steering column. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will surely be standard, but based on our knowledge of other vehicles in the automaker's portfolio, we know the 12.3-inch infotainment system has not offered wireless smartphone mirroring in the past, 